Is he, he filming an ad right now? Look, he went really hard on the Iraq stuff. But other it. than that, it's like he's trying to sell her to the audience. And not only that. Whereas Chuck just... Todd was questioning every little thing that Bernie said. Also, understand that some Democratic voters have been against Hillary because they question whether or not she's a progressive. And in that segment, Chris Matthews tried to make it seem as though being a progressive is this big, dangerous, scary thing yeah. and that she shouldn't even want that to begin with. Basically trying to reframe the argument uh, from a perspective of progressives are bad anyway, it's better to be a liberal. I mean, he's just, his bias is so clear and it's so transparent. And again, I want to reiterate, it's crazy that MSNBC would allow him to be the one to moderate this uh, town hall. If they had someone else, even if it was Rachel Maddow, right, I'd be fine with that. But, and I think Rachel Maddow did a good job uh, moderating, I think it was the first town hall uh, it, of this. It was a forum. Oh, it was a forum. Yeah, yeah she did a good job. I don't know why they chose Chris Matthews. I think that was a really bad idea on MSNBC's part. I thought they were going to get Melissa Harris Perry. The point <laughs> is, uh, he, Goldwater, I love how Chris, Matt, talk about framing. Goldwater was a very attractive candidate. He was a very attractive candidate. Goldwater. Yeah. Goldwater, very attractive candidate. He didn't have any issues, did he? Didn't have any issues whatsoever. And I love how he also said that I think most people start out the way you did. Most people start out as Republicans. That's what he said. Most people start out that way. Most people start out the fighting for the wrong issues, for the wrong candidates, on the wrong side of history. No, but that's that's how stereotype. fucking most people start out, Chris. Jimmy. No, that's not how most people start out. Jimmy, that's the stereotype that they say that as you age, you start off uh, supporting Republican uh, presidents, <laughs> and then once you hit 65, you become a progressive become and a progress makes, <laughs> get stuff done. That's generally what happens I mean, for most people. Like, there's that part, like, I guess, you know, you used to watch Jerry Springer and you go, oh, those people weren't, they didn't give normal shame. And the same thing with Chris Matthews and people yeah. who say, like, that question right there, it's like, I, I'm. Look, here's the thing. No, no, so don't Matthews, stop. Finish the thought. I, I, how how are you not embarrassed? Like, you're not embarrassed to say something like that? Most people start out fucking like, wrong. No, obviously they don't. Obviously, most people don't start out that yeah. way. What are you fucking talking about? Most people start out liberal and go the other way. Just what Johnny said. He just said the exact backwards and opposite thing that we all know to be a truism. Yeah. So he's doing, I think, an objectively bad job of moderating a town hall, which is a specific job. He took 35 minutes to get to the first question. Yes. At the end, I want them to count up how many questions each was asked by the audience. She's going to have maybe they'll fit in a third question. Maybe. Maybe. And both of them were cutting in with statements as opposed to questions. But Chuck Todd was just throwing in little insults or little barbs at Bernie Sanders. He's just like, you're forgetting to say that you're compassionate and empathic, so I'll say it for yeah. you. That's not, that's not what you're supposed to do. I don't even care so much about the bias, but you're supposed to be asking questions. He's just getting her to say no. more about how awesome she is on the limited number of I questions you've It's been not helping her. It's, it you're, might you're, not. It's Wes, really, I really wrong. don't think it's you helping her. You are wrong. Her. It is absolutely helping her. Okay, when she has the ability to stand up there and say that her college debt plan is more comprehensive than Bernie Sanders and she doesn't get challenged because Chris fucking Matthews has not even read her fucking policy compared to Bernie's policy, yeah, it's fucking helping her, okay? Because Bernie Sanders, he gets challenged and he has to get defensive about his own policy ideas. Chris Matthews doesn't challenge her. Yeah, she but, gets to say whatever the then, fuck she wants. But he's actually explaining his policies where she's just like, when she was talking, I was like, my brain lost. And I'm like, I know. I, I, I,